Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today I would be talking about some design patterns that we can implement in a Vistock interface. First, let me give a code walkthrough of sequential convoy singleton design pattern. Let's assume we receive a notification message from our trading partner interface which has a following information file ID, event type and description based on file ID we might need to aggregate all the messages that we receive on a particular file ID let's say within a minute we might receive 10 notification message on a particular file say one and we might even receive 10 different event types and our target system wants to aggregate all the messages of a particular file and then wants to store it. So to achieve the business process we would have a envelope schema. Envelope schema is nothing but a normal XML schema where we would set the envelope property as true. So here is our envelope schema which aggregates all the messages that we receive. I have an record type of all message and inside all message I added an element of any type. So on my root node aggregated message I would set the body x path on my root node aggregate message I would set the body x path to the all messages node. So here is our notification message which contains the following information file id, event description and event type. I would promote the file id as a context property in order to perform correlation based on the file id. So here is our sequential convoy orchestration process where we would try to receive the notification messages based on a particular file ID by initializing a correlation on the first receive and then following the correlation on the second receive. We will try to aggregate all the messages and send the aggregated message to the target system. So in order to aggregate all the messages I would create a variable called aggregate message of type microsoft.xlang.pipeline.send pipeline input messages. And I have created a message type of any. This would have the aggregated message. And using send pipeline, we would aggregate 
all the messages and assign it to the any message and we will publish the any message that would contain all the aggregated message which would be sent to the target system so here is our send pipeline And on the XML assembler component, I would set the envelope schema. Coming back to the orchestration process. We would receive the first notification message. Then we would write a event log saying orchestration started then we would try to aggregate the message we would aggregate the message using aggregate message dot add then we would pass in our first message then we would have a listenership where we will configure to receive the second message or the upcoming messages with a delay interval of 10 seconds if in case the second message was received within 10 seconds we would add the received message to the aggregate variable then we will loop for a specific retry interval retry for another message for three times if in case the next message was not received within 10 seconds we would still go ahead and retry for three times once after the retry got completed we would construct the any message by executing the send pipeline so here is a simple one line code to execute the send pipeline microsoft.xlang.pipeline.xlang pipeline, .xlang pipeline manager dot execute send pipeline we should pass in our debug message send pipeline and we should pass the aggregate message and envelope message which is of type any then we would send the any message to the target system which would be containing all the aggregated message The trick here to aggregate all the messages to initialize the correlation on the first message and then follow it on the second. So in order to initialize and follow correlation, I would create a correlation type of file ID. Then I will create a correlation set and initialize it on the first receive and follow it on the second receive this would create a single instance of orchestration process for a specific file id and it will try to process the subsequent messages received on the same file id to this specific orchestration where we will be aggregating the messages within the time frame and within the retry count then on completing the retry attempts we would aggregate all the messages by executing the send pipeline and then we will process the final output to the target system
let me build and deploy the solution and configure the orchestration process in the admin console. I have configured the orchestration process where we are receiving a message and sending the message using file adapters. Here is our sample message where we will be processing message for file id 1 and event type as 100. So our second message would look like our second message will be on the same file id 1 and we would have a event type as 110. And I would also even process a message for file id 2. So now let us see the behavior of our orchestration. I would process two messages, one for file id 1 and one for file id 2. I have configured our receive location to pull on this file directory. I have processed the two messages and similarly I would process the second set of messages. So on the event viewer you can see the logs. and I would go to the admin console as the process got completed we were not able to see any running instances let's go to the out directory and here you can see the aggregated message for file id 2 and this is aggregated message for file id 1 let us reprocess the notification message for file id 1 and I have processed the first file and I would process the second file again let me go to the group hub you can see our orchestration was our orchestration is in active mode trying to receive multiple messages I will, continu I will continuously post few more messages and let's track the event log and group up query and nearly 60 logs are there let's allow the orchestration to complete and we would see the output and verify the event logs though we processed messages on the same file id we ended up having five sets of aggregated messages this is because once the time out and the retry interval on a specific instance is completed orchestration will finish the process and it will create a new instance again on the same file id 
so here is our first set of messages that was processed it processed four messages similarly our second set had processed three messages and again third set process four messages fourth set process three messages and our fifth set process two messages let's see the event logs for the first set orchestration was started then it aggregated the first message then as it received the message within the time frame it even aggregated the second message then while waiting for the message for the second time timeout happened and it did the retry then it received the message again and it aggregated the message then on the second retry it again received a message then retry expired and it aggregated the message and completed the process once it completed the process the other messages flowing in started a new orchestration and it did the same process again Now let us debug the orchestration and see the sequential convoy flow. Message was received and an instance was activated on the first message and we aggregated the message to the collection. The second message was received within the time frame and we again aggregated the message and as we have set a retry count of 3 it would wait for the message for the third time and timeout happened it again did a retry again a timeout happened then the retry interval then retry count exceeded we aggregated the messages that are received in this process that are received in this instance of orchestration and send the aggregated result to the target system thanks for watching the video